Hello Libra, how are you? It is time for your October reading for this current year, 2019. Yays! Let's see what's coming up for you, y'all. Newcomers and returners, or whatever I call you, I guess, whatever. Um, Libra, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. This resonates with you a good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game, right? Either it'll work for you, or it won't. Just boop your nose, away you goes, and away we goes. Right? Right. Want a personal read? Email? And everything else is in the description box below with all the information. Newcomers, first readings on the house. And I take tips and donations, of course. Thank you very kindly in advance. Now let's see. Libra, what's going on with you for the beginning of October? Um, well, two people are coming together, so that's kind of how you're feeling right now. Like something didn't mesh the way you wanted it to. Oh, you got a King of Wands dick, too. Virgo did. I just did Virgos, and, like, you know, they had the exact same type of person. Just a flat-out dick. Could be a Leo, but also a Aries or a Sagittarius, right? What you're wanting wishing for is for someone not to offer something? Or some, or you don't want to make an offer or delivery to some, some connection here that's no longer... I don't want to say that's twin souls shit, right? All right, the obstacle and challenge you're going to have to deal with is not having a victory at that. I mean, if you're not going to deliver something, you're not going to win something? The fuck is there to win? I don't, I don't get it. Okay, whatever. Okay, fears and rejections. The sacred clown... Or the fool, traditionally. He is reversed. Someone doesn't want to take a leap of faith. They're scared to or they're rejecting the idea of doing so. Yet we got a judgment call with how shit starts and how it'll end. How it comes full circle. This cycle. Judgment. Either to resurrect something or you have a grand stand and idea. However, you don't know what to do exactly with your options with the two of pentacles. That's your beginning theme. Libra, I just want to say, right, I know you guys love to say that you don't have a competitive nature, but every Libra I have ever met has been the most competitive motherfucker, okay? And I don't mean competitive as in getting into the action. I mean competitive to where, like, sometimes you guys don't want to be sore losers, so you just opt out of shit so you don't have to deal with it because you don't want to lose anything because it bothers you because you guys do have a lot of pride. Like, way more than what I'll ever know. You know, you guys have a lot of pride. I think you guys are like cardinal signs like Aries and Capricorn and Cancer, but I can't remember. And I'm probably wrong. I know those four have some sort of relationship or whatever, but it's whatever. But, like, you know, sometimes you guys do this thing where, like, you'll just turn yourself into a loser to avoid losing by skill. And I know, and I've never understood why. Because you guys have so much potential to get so much shit done, man. Like, I don't know, it's hard for me as a Capricorn to ignore, you know, like, you guys are usually pretty capable creatures. Like, and you're very charismatic, but it's just kind of like... How? <laughs> like, sometimes I just wonder how you guys can be so scared to lose. It's not like it's a bad thing, it's a learning experience, after all. But I'll shut the fuck up. Anyway, Temperance Reverse. Two people not coming together. And for some reason, you don't want to offer anything to them. Um, you feel like maybe they put a fish in your cup and you're wondering what the fuck could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. You're afraid an earth sign might just teach you. <laughs> what? Are you afraid someone's going to treat you like a fucking gnome after they put a fish in your cup? It's like someone treated you like you didn't, like your feelings didn't mean anything, but you're looking at them like they're just a dead fish. Like this person, I don't know. It's either you, Libra, or it's this person, but this queer is feeling like they're upset that someone treated them like a gnome, but at the same time, all they got is a fish in their cup, and this page is offering a coin. Like a genuine coin, not a gold wrapped 
chocolate coin. Either it's real gold. He's giving it to a gnome like, you know what, I'm gonna treat you like my equal. And then the Queen of Cups is like, you gave me a dead fish, motherfucker. Or she already had a dead fish. Or she sees it as a dead fish. And it makes her wonder, what the fuck? Or maybe she's just a little bit jealous that this page is like, um... Giving to gnome people instead of her, because all she's got is a fish. You know, maybe that's why two people can't come together. One's taking care of those who they see lesser than, but treating them like equals. And someone's confused why they have a dead fish in the cup. I don't know why there's a fish in the cup, but the bitch is confused. It's like she'd stare at that cup for so long and be like, what is in this cup? And then she looks at it and she's just like, it's a goddamn fish. I'm just sitting here staring at this cup and all it is is a fucking fish. My god, you know, like, just some realization to be like, and was I really this upset over this shit for nothing? King of Wands reverse. Could be Leo, Sag, Aries, right? Someone pretty arrogant in this situation. Someone thinking that they rule everything with an iron fucking fist, but probably f throw a fit if you don't, like, make them their oatmeal like they ask you for, like, a three-year-old. I just get that a little bit. They want to feel like a hero and they're saving bitches. Saving bitches' lives, man. Um, no. Ooh. This Casanova got caught up in some shit. They weren't paying attention to where they were going. They got caught. Probably, I don't know, like put in jail or some shit? I don't know. Prince of Pentacles reverse and the wants and wishes it might be this earth sign that doesn't want to offer anything to you libra or the person of interest for you or this could be you just not offering dick because it's like why like i have other people to offer to i'm not dealing with somebody who stares at a cup about a fish and then is confused they probably put the cup the fish in there themselves or some shit right what's up with this knight this knight is happy on their own Libra, like, there's somebody who's completely content, and it could be you who's not trying to come in aggressive, maybe you don't even want to fight this person or whatever, or this person has no desire to, um, confront you. Like, I think they're avoiding a cut down just as much as you are, if that's the case. But if this is you, you're way too happy and you don't feel like losing. Like I said, like, in this description, I would say, like, the knight missed and the guy was able to pull him off the horse. And it's like you're way too happy with where you are to try to become a loser and something else. However, it, you might still be a loser. You might just conk everybody in the head with the, knight, with the six of wands or reverse. I almost said knight. Jesus Christ. Let's see. The truth starts to fly... That someone's work was really shitty. Hmm, Libra, yours is kind of weird. Like, everyone else's was kind of making sense. Hell, I was getting into, like, a lot of them. But yours is, like, awkward, because it's, like, uh... Two people aren't coming together because, like, someone feels like they were dealt a fish when in reality they're a fucking gnome who got offered a pretty big fucking deal. You know, like, you know, to you it's just a fish, but to fucking gnomes it's like the golden trade or currency to their people. Like, someone will appreciate this shit, you know? And down below, this king of wands was, like, acting like a fucking Casanova saving bitches from whatever, and he got caught in the trap. I almost feel like he went to jail. You know, something's not being delivered. It could be by this earth sign because they're happy and they don't feel like fighting you. If not, it's probably you. And you don't feel like losing. But the thing is, is like the six of wands is talking about losing a victory because the truth flew about something that did not pan out. It like was bad workmanship, bad quality, or someone just wasn't invested in doing the work period to actually be happy with what came out. In fact, their lack of effort has piled up on them and now they're just staring at everything like, oh shit. Like, this looks miserable. Job well done! You know? Fears and rejection. Someone does not want to take a leap of faith. 
they rather just sit there talking to themselves, pouring some bad seeds into the ground, you know? Like, she's kind of transmuting the information into the ground, but it's reversed, so all these seeds are pretty bad. It's like, you don't want to spread any more bad shit around, but you're kind of doing that anyway. Um, acting like a, you don't know what the fuck, who's going to win. You just let other people take the swords, and now you're just sitting like a bystander, letting fate take its course. But that's like, that's not a good idea, man, I don't think, like... You might not, like, I mean, maybe you don't care either way, you know? Maybe you don't, but you not caring is what's causing, I think, a lot of issues. You know, like, cutting off emotion is all well and good, but, you know, it is just as valid as logic, you know? You gotta think about that when it comes to fucking people. Because people operate on emotions. A lot of them don't make sense, but if you don't learn how to navigate that shit, you're kind of like disabling your own sense of being a human being, too. And most human beings who are logical understand they need emotions in order to uh, justify and fix shit. If you didn't justify shit, well, you know. Speaking of justify, let's look at judgment. What's this crazy idea? There's a resurrection that they're coming full circle about. They want their pet back! They want them to go, baby. <laughs> uh, the Emperor, they want control. They, they've they been sitting there waiting for their pet, and now he's sitting there, he's be like, okay, now we, we begin the session. Like a little sidekick, right? Let me drop one more, because I'm not sure entirely. Oh! So someone was the emperor on the throne in control, right? But they got greedy. They took the options of wearing wisdom as a belt instead of as a necklace, and they picked up a bunch of jewels, you know. Which I guess would help somebody if they're actually talking to the snake. But I don't know if they are. Like, that's a completely different, like, scenario. But it ended up that somebody ended up walking away from a person. They were just like, you know what? I could be upset with you. I could be mad at you. But fuck it, I'm leaving. Impulsively. I almost feel like while this emperor is up on his throne with his pet, this dude just sneaks in and stakes his shit and then just throws a fit and leaves. That's what I feel like, Libra. And maybe that's why I'm getting the feeling that you don't want to feel like a loser either. Like, you're not even trying to play the game with somebody, and yet you still end up losing because you don't play. Ending theme. Not delivering anything because you don't know what your options are. I don't know, man. Like, I feel like you let somebody fuck you over a little bit. Like, you let someone in and, like, you really come to a point where you just don't know what the fuck to do. Because you don't want to play, and then, like, you get played anyway. Yeah. Communication is required in this situation, if you will. At least to smooth over the fact that you ain't got nothing to worry about. Watch where those seeds you're pouring at. But don't hold your breath with waiting. And make an offer? That's the third time the Knight of Pentacles has shown up, and this time he's actually upright. It's like, communicate, stop waiting, make the offer. Maybe you need to communicate with an Earth sign to get them to offer something to you? I don't know. This could be you or whoever you're dealing with, Levi, but... That is your mother fucking reading, y'all. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. No pressure, though. All up to you. Once again, if you want a personal, all the info is down below. Mwah. I love your guys' faces, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.